welcome back guys. We will be continuing the park. Hopefully this will be the last little bit we've got into the um into the fun the scare fun house place. And I remembered after last time's gameplay of this game, I forgot to check something. Which is okay. If you guys decide to play through this, hopefully you guys can find it. It was like a picture of her and the kid. Okay, let's see. What does the page say? Down Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jury throng of town club gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not being. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston and have retreated here to the house of horrors. I must think. Nathaniel Wint Winter welcome welcomes you to the Atlantic Island Park. This guy looks nothing like the guy that greeted us at the gate. When we first started the game. Here's our character who is, well, you can tell she's struggling mentally. did a pretty good job of making it look like it's looking at you, even though it's crap. Why does that? They kind of do look like real people, up, but on certain angles. Oh, wait, there was a thing here and now it's gone. What the heck? Or am I going crazy? There's a green flashback there in the corner and now it's gone too. Oh, there it is. Okay. <coughs> oh gosh, sorry guys for sneezing. Oh. Yeah. I guess just saying it didn't help this time, so. Just got a little statue thing here. Show yourself. Okay. Where is Daddy? That's a little better. Oh, there was something there, and I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Maybe going through 
been watching this. We must have all be able to see it. I think it must have been that skinny, big ear, scary that we've been seeing. Oh, there it is. There's a shadow of it. Your flashlight's not working now. Well, you can see it's a shadow. It's clearly standing. It might be seen underneath the bridge. Yeah, it's shadow still there. sensitivity on this is still wait why did this turn around yeah this didn't turn around it wasn't facing this way Passing way to hold the flashlight. Well, that's not scary because I've actually paid attention this time to it. Is that uh, like odd, like golden glow on that pipe again? Could be from like the flashlight. Why is it this side? So we jumped. Gotta get out the camera to pick it up. Dismiss the more random chance. The park works, but something is interfering with its attendant function. It is, it's as though the very air in this place is corrupting the power, even as I collect it. Few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when employees go on stopping rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys in blue either kind investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. I mean, sometimes it is hard to tell. <coughs> Who said boo? Well, oh. that kind of distracted me. I was gonna say, like, it's hard to tell who's sometimes like who's nice, who's bad. And you never know who's gonna go ooh, like flip, like flip and lose it. Or closed. Oh, that's the third, third time I got startled and jumped a little. I'm losing it. I stopped them. No, no, it's a normal reaction. You don't pay attention to it. And you, you, even if you pay attention to it, sometimes you do get jumped. One little dove went out one day. Started coming out, or even here, and just what is that blood? It looks like blood. Part 
I mean, well, this place could look nice if it was like actually redone and kept up like clean, maintained like paint and stuff like that. Electricity fixed. So let's see, I think it's her apartment, yeah. Nightmare of Circus. Fair and calm, if I'm reading it correctly. A circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens to killing dozens of owners put to death by an enraged mob on Tom so just as he shouts a curse out Raven, a dark souled wanderer comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. So kind of like what we're doing now with our character. We're at a closed down amusement park looking for her son. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. I feel bad for her and the kid, especially the kid. I was just wondering why they let her out if she was doing well. Either they were overfilled with patients or understaffed or if she was doing well. I don't think she should have gone. If she's gone this bad, she shouldn't have gone her kid back. Or maybe the grand, her father should have helped out more. I don't know. It's hard to tell in these situations either. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that you that your service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following: make the payment listed on your last bill, or contact them at that number, and we can arrange your payment plan so that you can immediately be reconnected. If you believe this is an error, call us at the same number to discuss your options. If you're unable to make payment, please contact your local airfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. The Dunwich Power Company. Well, that sucks not being able to pay bills, especially when you're tight on money. A shock and shoe story, hunger. The true story of the Donners. On April 16th, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500 mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountains with very little to bite or sup. That you're talking to. Let's see. Oh yeah, it says sub. So. Okay. It was to become one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration that the world has ever seen. Now, on our panel, Donner experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive the terrible winter. In this never before seen expose expose read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here, the pages of the shock and shoe story. I mean, people will resort to that if, when there's nothing else left. This little kid's hat. Can't tell if there's anything down there. I'll just 
going to say, like, one of the father was, but earlier in the game, she did say that her partner passed away due to a tragic event, I think it was. Well, it just is also hard on the children to just be in a scary situation where the parent is suffering mentally. The world team. Susan is comedy. Okay. With this novel, Susan is comedy, cements her place as one of the most important science fiction writers of each generation. The world team, a solar flare has struck the earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. Uprooted? What did I say uprooted? I have no idea. Young meteorologist, meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating and exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara is the key to saving the world again. Dynamic, exciting, bombastic, everything we come to expect from an escompe novel. Chance O'Hara is back and you better believe that she's bigger, better, and bolder than ever. So we got, well this is like the living, like the main entryway, kind of like the main entryway. Yeah, so she has bed for her son, a bed for her, and then the kitchen over here. Well I guess you can do what you have locked for now. Got a boiler here. Or if you don't understand what that means, water heater. I grew up saying just boiler because it's basically the same thing. Is this, it? Okay, let's see. Miss Mallard, as we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully covered from your illness. Really. The. Well, by the things we just see that she's not fully recovered, she's still struggling. This letter is official notification that you're considered in sound mind and body and you may return to work at any time. Please know that you should discontinue any medication that you have been using and dispose of any, any remaining medications. If you feel any time that you're suffering and you lost them, please contact with your local pharmacy immediately. Well, not pharmacy, physician immediately. You wish to continue to help Dr. Spencer Dunwich Medical. I think that was a bad decision to stop her taking her medications. She seemed to be doing fine on her medications and I don't know. Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised you ran off with your father all, all of those years ago and disappeared off the edge of the map and then when I finally trapped you down, you were refusing to answer any of my letters. Now you write to me asking for help. I have another family now in another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you. I truly did, but every year you grow more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you had run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back in my life without pick. Key. Open more wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. What well, maybe one day it'd be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. I'm guessing Karen was her mother and the kid. Oh no, that's opening up another can of worms. If her father was abusive to her mom, then it would have been. And I wouldn't be surprised if he abused her in any way she performed to. And I feel like the mother should have fought for her more. Miss Mallard, Mallard or Mallard, whatever it is, our inquiry into the estate of Mr. Donald Williams has been completely regretted. 
inform you that the primary beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accident death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, that send the deceased parents. Our agents may contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explain your situation, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son, Colton. Fortunately, we're not receptive to our overtures and they specify that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the money. Money, or are they trying to say monies or monies? I have no idea. From Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation. I hope that I am not being too forward when I close the bill for our service with this letter. Sincerely, Edward Stapleton, attorney. So she's having very bad luck in her situation. We're going through the apartment again. These are the same bookcases. Her meds. Which she probably shouldn't have stopped taking. Things are right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and explain it. I think, I think it's because I'm so far home and I'm working so hard every day working at the park it gets worse like a spring inside my mind winding tighter and tighter and tighter when we go for dreams after work it gets a little better the guy is relaxed and we laugh and we're we're good people again I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind but when the, this job is done we need to go out of this place we need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore Love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy and Emma if it's a girl. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Zola prescription, remember. Take the pills, follow up with Dr. Spencer, organize baby syrup for Cal. I think that could be like sometimes the biggest mistake doctors sometimes make is taking a patient off their medications. If they're like doing better, if they're doing better with the medications, they should stay on the medications. That's probably how it should be, but. That's so creepy. I still feel like her mother should have fought for her kid. More. If she had the means to look for her. It was just like a stain that's on there now. Going right down the stairs again. Can't open that door. I should keep 
need to oh, see these again. I think oh, the picture is getting worse. Uh, so it's like a whole drawer of the whole drawers out with a few more prescription bottles in it. That doll's out of place. Oh, and its head's over there, okay. Plus scenes on the hat now. Letters on here. Hear her. I see her try. See her cry. Say she's say a liar. Or So that's just like a lot of them are just now. So okay, so that monster again. Well in her eyes it is. And then we see Mother Duck and Oh now there are dolls hanging from Ceiling. One from missing a night ball. It's also fascinating to see this, like, type of thing through the game character's eyes. Little hallway. Is this 
realize how bad certain things get for people, they might. No, that's different. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time, before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? It's broken today. It's been so long since I heard laughter. It's so weird. And I'm one, I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. I was fast. The others didn't notice. I like hearing it and laugh. This boy from the academy. Put him on a slab. I tickled him until I couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, blaring in time to his gasp and shriek. Say, I think this is delightful. The change rock into me by the machines is not complete. There must be other children I can in my slab. Oh my gosh, that is disturbing. Why? So I don't know if this was. I mean, I don't know if this was her or the guy who owned the park with what happened at the end when I went through the first time. Guys. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. So that's 
hard to tell like what's her mental state. Alright, so that's the end of that game guys. Thanks for watching. Stopping by, and I'll see you guys later.